Welcome to the hottest movie review on the internet today, the A-List Review. I am your host, the Game Changer, Wes Troop. And today it's time for another May Madness Review. Ah, the madness! Anyway, if you don't know what that is, you suck. But May Madness is my little idea of taking my Netflix queue and sh smacking it down to size. Schmacking it, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, we're going to schmack it all night long. But <laughs> uh, today I'm going to review one of the movies off of there. This is the 2011 action sci-fi film, The Darkest Hour. Okay, so The Darkest Hour sees Earth attacked by invisible aliens who come through the Earth's power supply, and uh, five people in Moscow, Russia, try to survive. Yay. <laughs> so what did I think of The Darkest Hour? I thought it's a lame sci-fi action flick. Uh, it reminds me of one of those cheesy sci-fi movies like Snake Girl vs. Goat Boy or something like that. It just so happened this film got a big screen release. So it's sort of like one of those sci-fi channel flicks, if you will. Um, while the writers try to make it original, try to make it different, uh, make things new, it really is just a by-the-book survival movie. If you've seen one, you've seen them all. And really, this one is not that much different. Um, it's also full of corny dialogue and blatant product placement, which I sort of feel sorry for the companies on this one. The idea of the invisible aliens is right up there with the villain from The Happening in my book. I uh, wasn't really a fan. Um, <laughs> the characters who we barely know... Um, I mean, not that we really should care, but we really, I had a hard time rooting for any of them. I'm like, other than the cute girl, I'm like, oh, I hope that cute girl makes it. But the, that's just because I wanted to see her throughout the movie. But anyway, um, <laughs> the cast is okay for what it is. It stars Emil Hirsch, who I thought was on the rise, and I thought he'd be bigger by now for some reason. Anyway, and also we have the, the hottie herself, Olivia Thrillby, Max Minghella, Rachel Taylor, and Joel Kinnaman. Not Cinnamon, Kinnaman. <laughs> anyway, the real challenge of The Darkest Hour is sitting all the way through the movie, which is probably harder to do than to survive an alien attack. Therefore, the A-list gives the film The Darkest Hour the rating of Suck It. Yeah, it gets a suck it. So, if you want to check out The Darkest Hour for yourself, you can, by doing what I did, you can get it through Redbox. Thank God it was my free rental for the month. You can get it through Netflix, and of course, at a DVD or Blu-ray store near you. So, peeps, until next time, you know what next time is. It's going to be my review of The Avengers. Awesome! So, tune in tomorrow for that, probably tomorrow night. So, check that out. Until then, don't miss one single A-list second. You can subscribe to me right here on YouTube. Check out some of my other videos. You can like me on Facebook, follow me on the Twitter, and of course you can check out this review and every review if I ever get it updated, I know, at RottenTomatoes.com. So peeps, until next time, Troop out.